Confronting the brutal facts as an agency owner. Now this title is probably pretty aggressive, but this is an aggressive topic that you need to fully understand because building your first seven figure agency, or if you want to build it to multi seven figures with multi seven figure net profit is really going to be dependent on you being able to immerse yourself in the reality of how well your agency is actually doing through tracking KPIs. And instead of ignoring KPIs that don't look good, you face them head on and understand that if you don't design a solution to overcome these issues, then you're gonna have a really hard time scaling. So as an agency owner, even for myself, KPIs can be very rewarding metrics that you look at because it shows you how well you're doing. This could be in sales, this could be in profit. There's a lot of KPIs that are important to track. On the flip side, there's a lot of KPIs that are very important that could also be showing that you're not doing that well. I think it's very important to address the areas of the business that you're not doing well, that are potentially stopping you from growing face them head on, even if it's gonna take a lot of time, effort, and energy to improve, don't swipe it under the rug. Because if you swipe it under the rug and your issues already give you anxiety, then ignoring them should probably make you terrified because it's gonna end up catching up with you. All right guys, so let's jump into some examples of brutal facts that I've had to face as an agency owner. Whereas if I just ignored them, we would not be where we're at today, but I chose to live in reality. I chose to face them head on and actually make a difference and improve them. So first off, I have a few written down. If churn is high, that is a KPI that's telling you that your product is not working for your market. So if you have a lot of clients leaving every single month, then that's a problem. And if your churn is, let's just say, even above 8%, 10%, anything north of that, that is telling you that that's a massive problem and your market really isn't finding the solution they need with your business. That's a brutal fact. That's a tough KPI. That's the reality. So you have two options. One, ignore it and just keep trying to sell, 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 sell to make up the difference. Or two, you realize this is where we're at. This is the facts. We need to make our product better. We need to do X, Y, and Z and try really hard to make our product more valuable in the market and have our client success rate be higher so that churn can go down to where it needs to be. Now that is a full blown project, a lot of energy, a lot of attention, a lot of time. Here's another metric. Let's just say organic word of mouth referrals. If you are not getting a lot of organic word of mouth refer referrals, which is a great way to grow your business, that is telling you that your clients don't love your product enough so that they're telling their friends and colleagues about what you're doing for them. That is a straightforward, brutal fact. And so that should encourage you and, and motivate you to make your product so good to where your clients are telling their friends and colleagues and when they go to these networking events so that when you look at your sales calendar and schedule every month, you realize, oh shit, we had 10 referral calls and we closed six new clients just from our clients telling their friends. But if you're getting low numbers, low action, it's really just telling you that your clients don't really wanna tell their friends and colleagues about your service. Here's another one. People just aren't buying your shit. You have really low close rates. Now, your close rate is a clear KPI metric into how fast your company's gonna grow. So if you have very low close rates, you have to look at that closely and realize why is this happening? Now, this isn't a fun metric to discover, right? It's like, okay, this hurts but we need to do something about it. So it's either your product is suspect, your clients don't trust it, your sales process or your closer or even you are not good at sales. Your sales process is not good. It's not really getting them over the bridge. There's many reasons, but if you have a low close rate, you gotta figure it out and you gotta face the facts and you gotta design a solution around that so you can get back to a higher close rate because if not, you're never gonna scale. Here's another important KPI that can be painful to look at. If you have a very high employee turnover rate, that's gonna make it really hard for you to scale your agency. So instead of just ignoring the metric that your employee turnover rate is very high and just continuing to do everything, that's just a recipe for stagnation and even a decline in growth. So you gotta figure out why are my employees leaving? Why? It's not fun, you gotta figure out why. Then you gotta design a solution, you gotta have a plan, to really make sure that you're fixing this problem because if you don't fix it, you're screwed. So here's another example of just facing the facts and looking at the numbers and doing something about it versus just ignoring it, and hiring and losing and hiring and losing. 
you're gonna drive yourself crazy. Another great example of confronting a brutal fact as an agency owner, I speak to a lot of agency owners, I get to see their revenue, and most importantly, I get to see their net profit, their profit margin. And this can be a rewarding metric to look at, saying you have high profit margins, or it can be kind of painful to see that you have terribly low profit margins. And so if you have terribly low profit margins, obviously this is, this is gonna take a lot of work, a lot of energy. Why do we have low profit margins? So you gotta realize if you charge X price point and it's only giving you this amount of profit, one solution is how much more value can we provide to our type of client so that they can get better results so that we can charge a higher price point so that our margin can go up. Now that in itself is a huge project, a lot of time, a lot of energy, but instead of just ignoring it, the fact that you have low profit margins and facing it head on and realizing we have to make a change is the difference between you building a seven figure net income agency or you not. So to sum it up guys, your ability as an agency owner to confront the brutal facts in your agency, AKA KPIs, understand the root causes of why these KPIs are not where they need to be, design solutions, execute, do everything you can to make sure that all these important numbers are in the areas that they need to be. It's gonna be the difference between you making it or not. So I hope you guys find value in this video. In the next video, I'm gonna be on a podcast style interview with one of my good friends, Joshua Johnston, and we're gonna be breaking down the six traits of a successful agency owner. So stay tuned in.